Question 10. In a town, Chief S resides 60 meters away on a bearing of 0 57 degrees from the palace P. Why Chief Y resides on a bearing of 150 degrees from the same palace P. The residence of S and Y are 180 meters apart. A part of the question illustrates the information in a diagram. B. Find correct to 3 SFD. Roman figure 1. Bearing of S from Y. Roman figure 2. Distance between P and Y. Solution. The palace is the reference point. Shift S resides 60 meters away on a bearing of 0, 057 degrees from the palace. This value is in the first quadrant. So let's draw the palace somewhere here. The given angle is in the first quadrant quadrant from here you move to the residence of shift s this is shift s the distance is 60 meters from the same palace shift y resides on a bearing of 150 degrees this value is in the second quadrant in clockwise direction that is from the north if you take it this way somewhere here is 150 degrees let's have shift y somewhere here then you can join the distance between shift s and y together and you have 180 meters given in the question. From here, we can get this angle. From here to this point is 57 degrees. Then from here to this point, 150 degrees. What becomes this angle? That is 150. 50 degrees minus 57 degrees you have this angle so that we can compute the distance between p and s but before then the bearing of s from y is needed from y you have to go to y so you move from the north to that line that joins S and Y together. That must be 270 degrees plus this other angle. The solution continues. You have the diagram where labeled. I have already explained all you have here. So from here to this point, 0, 057 degrees from here to this point 150 degrees to get this angle you have 150 degrees minus 0, 057 degrees that is 0, 0,93 degrees this whole side is 180 degrees so the remaining part must be 0 30 degrees here is 60 meters you have 180 meters this angle is unknown it is alpha this angle is unknown it is theta but from here to this line now 
from here to here is 0, 60 degrees. Why is it so? This quadrant is 90 degrees. If from here to this point is 0, 30 degrees, this remaining angle must be 0, 60 degrees, which is equal to this angle, alternate angles. This is the A part, the diagram. B, Roman figure 1, the bearing of S from Y is going to Y. You start moving from the north to that point that joins S and Y together. That is 270 degrees plus this angle, 0, 60 degrees plus theta. Theta is needed which can be obtained using sine rule as follows. You have y over sine y equal to p over sine p. y is 60 meters. Angle y is theta. p is 180 meters. Angle p is 93 degrees. If you cross multiply and divide both sides by 180, sine theta is equal to this, and you have this result. After division, you have this. To get theta, take the inverse of sine of both sides you have 19.44 degrees. Therefore, the bearing of S from Y is 270 degrees plus 0, 60 degrees plus 0, 19.44 degrees. That is 349 Point four four degrees to three SF you have three hundred and forty nine degrees. Roman figure two we are to find the distance between P and Y. That distance is denoted by S, that is this side and it can be obtained either by sine or cosine rule. In order for us to use sine rule, this angle is needed. In fact, for both rules, this angle is needed. In the triangle, two of the angles are already known. If you add the three angles, the sum is equal to 180 degrees. You have it in this form, and you have this result. The third angle, alpha, is equal to this, and you have 67.56 degrees. Using sine rule, you have PY over sine alpha is equal to SY over sine p. You replace the various sides with what they stand for. If you make S the subject, you have this result. After simplification, you have this. When you divide, you have this result. To 3SF, the distance between P and Y is approximately 100 and 67 meters. Let's try the cosine rule. We are to get PY. So you have PY square is equal to sum of squares of the other two sides minus 2 times the products of the other two sides times cosine of the angle facing PY. 
That is alpha equal to 67.56 degrees. PY is equal to S. You square it. PS is equal to 60. You square it. SY, 180. You square it. Minus 2 times 60 times 180 times cos 67.56 degrees. When you simplify, you have this result follows by this. To get S, you take the square root of both sides and you have 166.5991. To 3SF, you have 167 meters. The same result obtained when we used sine rule. The same result you have here.